Hi everyone, this is Mike Schwartz, and today I wanted to do a quick demo of platform authenticators using FIDO. So first, let us uh, let me show you about enrollment. So I'm going to navigate to our test um, CASA instance. And right now, I don't have a FIDO platform authenticator enrolled, so I'll use my regular FIDO authenticator and I'll go to security keys and platform authenticators. And you can see we have a new option down here, register a touch ID. So I'll go ahead and say ready. Um, I'll touch my um, fingerprint and I will give it a name. This is my MacBook Air. Okay, and that's it. And you can see um, this little icon, you know, differentiates it from our other um, FIDO authenticators. So that was enrollment. That was pretty easy. So let's um, go to logout and let's try and use it to log in. So here we go. Um, this is a two-step enroll. First step is, is password. Second step, now it's prompting me. So I'll touch my touch ID. There it goes. And it logs me in. So Let's say I have a FIDO token plugged in and I don't want to use my uh, touch ID. So let me, let me show that. So here I log in and I'm instead going to touch my FIDO token. And so note that still works. You don't have to use your touch ID if you don't want. Um, of course, if I lose my, um, um, my token or I get rid of my MacBook, I'll want to unassociate this device. So I could go ahead and, and delete it. And now it's gone. So anyway, it's, it's really that easy. Um, we're listing the um, platform FIDO devices, just like uh, with all the rest of our FIDO devices, and they're managed in the same way. Um, Apple did some great work, um, you know, helping to let's say, address some of the security differences between a platform authenticator and a USB hardware authenticator, you know, like the YubiKey. Something like the YubiKey, it's really hard to sort of take this thing apart and get at the hardware, um, whereas platform authenticators have a, have a different sort of security trust model. So um, Apple is using their built-in uh, private key protection, but they've also added some um, protection on the server side. And if you want to read more about that, you can um, check out the, the blog about platform FIDO authenticators on the glue.org slash blog. So that's it. Thanks. And um, this uh, feature will be available in Glue 4.3, which is coming out um, September 3rd. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye.